Berthing of vessel. Berth is the term used in ports and harbors for a designated location where a vessel may be moored, usually for the purposes of loading and unloading. Berths are designated by the management of a facility, for example, port authority, harbor master. Vessels are assigned to berths by these authorities. Most berths are alongside a key or a jetty, large ports, or a floating dock, small harbors and mariners. Berths are either general or specific to the types of vessel that use them. The size of the berths varies from 5 to 10 meters, 16 to 33 feet, for a small boat in a marina to over 400 meters, 1,300 feet, for the largest tankers. The rule of thumb is that the length of a berth should be roughly 10% longer than the longest vessel to be moored at the berth. Ship handling operations include maneuvering and controlling the vessel by means of engines, helm movements and tug assistance. Berthing means bringing a vessel to her berth until the ship is made fast. A ship may berth port or starboard side on or bow or stem on. The term berth refers to the key, or wharf, or, pier or jetty where the ship comes alongside, but it may also mean a place in which a vessel is moored or anchored. The berthing and unberthing maneuvers require great knowledge and skill by the master, officers and the crew, as well as an excellent teamwork with the rope runners and the mooring party ashore. A ship may berth port or starboard side too, with no wind or tide, with the tide ahead, with the wind onshore or offshore. The master, the pilot and the tug skippers must have good local knowledge of the tides, wind conditions, depths and aids to navigation, but they also have to take into consideration the transverse and axial thrust of the propeller, how the ship responds to the rudder and how much power she develops when running astern. The Mediterranean moor consists of making a ship fast stem onto a berth with the bows held in position by the anchors. Usually about four shackles of cable are used on each anchor and it is preferable although not always possible, to achieve a reasonable spread between the anchors so that the bows are held securely in a beam wind. The approach is best made with the berth on the port side and the starboard anchor should then be dropped with the vessel two ship lengths off the berth and about half a ship length before the line of the berth. After proceeding slow ahead and paying out cable, the engines should be stopped and put astern when half a ship length past the line of the berth. As the vessel gathers stern way the port anchor should be let go. The effect of transverse thrust as the vessel goes astern paying out cable is to cant the stem to port towards the berth. Stem lines are passed out on the cross and when turned up on the bits they may be set up tight by heaving in a few links of cable. In some cases, in exposed positions, a buoy is provided on each quarter. Since the vessel is made fast at right angles to the line of the shore, the Mediterranean moor is not suitable for use in tideway. It may be used where cargo ships discharge into lighters or for tankers using their stem discharge line. To turn the vessel, which is coming up the tidal estuary along with the tide, the anchor is dropped on the side towards which the vessel has to be turned. If the vessel is planned to turn on the starboard wheel, the starboard anchor is dropped. Likewise, if it's planned to turn on the port wheel the port anchor is dropped. This is done to avoid the anchor chain going across the stern of the vessel after the swing. But before dropping the anchor, the ship's speed is reduced to around 3 knots or less to minimize the chances of chain damage or damage to the ship's equipment and hull. The starboard anchor dropped and by pivoting it the vessel has started to swing. For a ship having a normal right-handed propeller, which comes up with the tide, the starboard anchor is dropped so as to take the advantage of the canting, that is, swinging of the stern due to transverse thrust, which is essentially a sideways force acting on the stern of the vessel moving forward or astern. The ship is brought up with the help of the anchor, that is her way has stopped and the vessel is riding only on her anchor. To turn the vessel, which is coming up the tidal estuary along with the tide, the anchor is dropped on the side towards which the vessel has to be turned. If the vessel is planned to turn on the starboard wheel, the starboard anchor is dropped. Likewise, if it's planned to turn on the port wheel the port anchor is dropped. This is done to avoid the anchor chain going across the stern of the vessel after the swing. But before dropping the anchor, the ship to turn the vessel, which is coming up the tidal estuary along with the tide, the anchor is dropped on the side towards which the vessel has to be turned. If the vessel is planned to turn on the starboard wheel, the starboard anchor is dropped. 
Likewise, if it's planned to turn on the port wheel the port anchor is dropped. This is done to avoid the anchor chain going across the stern of the vessel after the swing. But before dropping the anchor, the ship's speed is reduced to around 3 knots or less to minimize the chances of chain damage or damage to the ship's equipment and hull. The starboard anchor drop and by pivoting it the vessel has started to swing. For a ship having a normal right-handed propeller, which comes up with the tide, the starboard anchor is dropped so as to take the advantage of the canting, that is, swinging of the stern due to transverse thrust, which is essentially a sideways force acting on the stern of the vessel moving forward or astern. The ship is brought up with the help of the anchor, that is her way has stopped and the vessel is riding only on her anchor, to turn the vessel, which is coming up the tidal estuary along with the tide. The anchor is dropped on the side towards which the vessel has to be turned. If the vessel is planned to turn on the starboard wheel, the starboard anchor is dropped. Likewise, if it's planned to turn on the port wheel the port anchor is dropped. This is done to avoid the anchor chain going across the stern of the vessel after the swing. But before dropping the anchor, the ship...